I think all humans are walking around with this feeling that something isn't right. Whether you're a Christian or not, you can sense the not rightness of the world. I tried to be brave, but I hid in the dark. I sat in that cave and I prayed for sparks to light up all the The songs that I love the most are the ones that stir up in me that that um, pr a profound longing. They pique a longing. And so I'm not saying that my songs do it, but that's one of the my prayers is that they will for somebody. Well, my songwriting hero is probably Rich Mullins. But then from a songwriting standpoint, I'm a big Salt, Paul Simon fan, and I love James Taylor. Uh, but then there's also this community of uh, artists in Nashville, Ben Shive and Jill Phillips and Andy Gullhorn and Andrew Osinga and Sandra McCracken. There's so many uh, singer-songwriters out there that are a part of the community in Nashville that I'm in that actually do more actually uh, demonstrable um, influencing. If Paul Simon and Rich Mullins and C.S. Lewis and Tolkien are the peaks of the, the, the mountains that you're trying to ascend, that's great to have those and to shoot for that, but you also need friends on the trail who are gonna actually pick you up when you're falling down and help you climb. And so that has been the more profound influence on me is the community of friends in Nashville. Whether it's a painting or a film or a book or a song, it has the ability to speak to the heart in a way that um, resounds and tells us that we are not the only ones who have felt that way. And I think that for myself, there were so many times when I have been comforted by a story or a song and have felt less alone uh, that I wanted to, I hope to, turn that around and um, listen to my life in a way and telling that story in a way that will hopefully be a resounding point for somebody else in the audience.